Our expertise to start with was bringing wines from South Africa, New Zealand, Italy, Portugal, Spain, and Turkey to the United States. As we enjoyed some success with that model, many of our wholesalers around the United States started to approach us and say, this is all fine and good, it's going really well. When are you guys going to get bring to us some, some wine from California? We started Maritime in 2009, and that's at the height of the downturn. And people were coming at us left and right with wine that they could not sell themselves. So Chris and I found outlets for it, working with a bunch of big retailers around the country. And in one of these instances, we uh, bottled some Cabernet, we bottled some Chardonnay. We had, a, we had a lot of opportunity for a couple of different wines to put in bottle for some retailers. And producers were happy to get rid of all this wine that they couldn't sell. There are several different terms that could be utilized to describe succinctly what it is that we do. Within the wine trade, we call ourselves negociants. This is a practice that's been utilized for centuries around the world. And today, some of the world's largest wine brands are produced in this way. The negociant model, which is a trading model wherein a wine merchant sources finished or semi-finished wine from an estate wine producer and puts that wine under a label. And what's fun about being a negociant is you're not tied to a single site. You can just focus on making good wine. For us, what we really find coaching guidance that we've always had from our winemaker was you know, blends really bring out qualities in wines that you don't get from single varietals. If you're looking for a single expression of a varietal or place, that's fine. But we're looking for our varietals to benefit each other. Many of our friends who helped us on the import side are globetrotting winemakers. Some of them are rock stars and some of them are more obscure and lesser known. So we're fairly well connected with people who are really well versed in making wine, not just in California, but all over the world. It's been our observation and experience that true art of winemaking has perhaps more to do with blending than it does manipulation in the vineyard. It, it seems to be the rule of the day that you know less intervention in the vineyard produces a better quality fruit, a better yield, and the real work is done in the cellar and at the blending table. We like to use the term magic dust because it's, it never ceases to to amaze me what one and a half percent or two percent of Petit Syrah will do when you, you drop those few, few magic drops in, making totally, totally change. Just that, that, that little tiny percentage can, can really make all the difference. And it's, you know, we've had the benefit of working with some really fantastic winemakers to help us learn that skill.